How's it going, Tyler? Hot Dog Cuties? Ben here, and today we are going to be talking about whether or not I actually thought undergrad going to get a bachelor's degree was worth it for me, or whether or not I gained any valuable insight from going to an undergraduate college. Now, as you guys know, I am a medical student, and going to undergrad was absolutely necessary. Like, in order for me to actually even get into medical school, I needed an undergrad degree, apply to medical school get my degree and then finally I was allowed to attend. So yes, in the grand scheme of things, getting my undergrad degree was very, very, very important as far as my profession, but I'm here to talk about other things that I did in undergrad that may or may not have made undergrad worth it if I decided not to pursue medical school. So the first thing I wanna talk about is that in undergrad, you get the same basic education as every other major for the first one and a half years and then you finally start really taking courses assigned to your degree later on uh, after the one and a half years but then it's like all your degree stuff so i was a biology major and i really really love biology and i really love science and i ended up really enjoying my classes however however in the grand scheme of things when i look back even though i I enjoyed my classes but then when I look at the courses that I have taken and then the courses that are attributable attributable to my career in the future almost none of those courses actually matter as far as the skills that I need to become a doctor and when I've talked to my friends most of them that are doing big big boy big girl big them jobs out there they really don't see any of those courses or the majority of those courses they've used in undergrad applying to what they're doing now unless you're a very very skills focused degree such as computer science and or engineering and even my brother will tell you the large majority of what he's learning in computer science will not be attributable to the job that he ends up doing because of the fact that he gets on-site training on the on the software and on the languages that they use at his company and it could be a completely different language than he's learned in his own undergrad degree. There is one thing though that I felt that I gained a lot of experience in an undergrad that I think is helping me as a medical student and will continue to help me as a doctor and as a physician scientist and that is being an undergrad gives you a ton a ton of free time. It's nothing like high school where you're in classes from 7 to 3 p.m and you go home and you do homework and that's it for your day. You go hang out with your friends and things like that. You don't have a lot of free time, unfortunately, in high school, but in undergrad, you only take three or four classes a semester. Some people will take even less than that as a part-time student. So you have a ton, a ton of free time. And this is where you can model your degree to the career that you want. For me specifically, because I wanted to be a doctor and also do research as a physician, I devoted my extra time to that. So I was near a huge city when I did got my undergraduate degree and there was a hospital nearby along with a medical school. And what I ended up doing is that I ended up doing research for that medical school and working under that hospital and gaining experience there. Also, I got involved in extracurricular activities at my university and started doing research at my university as well. I was putting in more time as an undergraduate student doing research than actually in the classroom. And that's what I think gave me a huge, huge boost in confidence and also a huge boost in my applications when I did apply to the future career that I wanted. So my advice to you is that if you find undergrad and if you are thinking about an undergrad program and you're saying that you've heard all these people saying that undergrad is not worth it, undergrad is not worth it, and you've talked to people who have had gotten a degree and they say, well, none of my courses really apply to anything that I'm doing now. Yes, undergrad does sound like it's not very important in what you want to do in the future, but it's a necessary step to get through. And that is true. And although sometimes that is frustrating, know that you can be proactive and start involving yourself into experiences where it will be beneficial to you in your future career which is what I did and I see so many people complain about their classes being irrelevant and all these things that they want to do but they have to get that degree
but they don't reach out and get those experiences and i understand getting those experiences is incredibly incredibly hard to look for but you have to learn to put in the work for those experiences i was looking for over a year before i got an experience but once i started i started making connections I started talking to people and it opened my doors to a lot of lot of different programs and yes in the long term i do get frustrated that so many people have to go under thousands and upon thousands of dollars of debt for degrees for for degrees that require you to take classes which you're not even going to benefit from that is incredibly frustrating and i understand why so many people give up on schooling after high school or give up on schooling m midway through their degree program but I implore everyone who's thinking about those kinds of things, if it is still a passion for you to do a career that requires a degree, find those extra experiences. However, if you are in school or if you've just finished high school and you're thinking, well, I don't want to do anything that requires an undergrad degree. I want to be a plumber. I want to be a mechanic or I just want to do freelance photography because I already have a really good photography background. I don't need to go to school for an in-depth photography knowledge because I already have that. That is completely fine to start your own freelance work or do all those technical jobs. Or you don't even have to do technical skilled jobs. If you feel like you don't want to do any type of skilled work but you want to work, Though there are options for you out there. I never want to be the kind of person that say, yes, everybody has to go to college. Everybody needs to have a professional job. No, your future job is something that you want to do and that caters to the type of personality you are and the type of future you want for yourself. And for me, I want to be in a, a very established person who is able to provide for my family because uh, I talked about this in the past, but I have a lot of family members that suffer from chronic conditions such as my sister having SLE, which is lupus, which is a condition that Serena, uh, Selena Gomez has, if you guys look it up. Um, and I have to protect my family in the future, so being a doctor is a big thing for me. And also, I want to serve people. That I've always loved serving people, and I've always loved taking care of people. And that's why it's such a big deal for me to go through undergrad and go through medical school even though I'm not the traditional medical student in that I got into medical school super early the average age of medical school I think applicants is around 24 25 and I ended up entering medical school at the age of 22 but I'm taking an extended track to graduate medical school because I don't have a lot of the I don't have the a lot of the um, determination to just sit for a very long time. I get distracted very easily and also want to devote more time to research. So I'm taking a more of an extended five year track to graduate from med school, even though I'll end up being in the same average age of medical school graduates. So in the end, my opinion of undergrad education is that most of it is complete BS and the fact that they require you to do all these classes that are not necessary for your skill training and whatever work you want to do and it's just a scheme to take money out of you. I do think it's necessary for, for you to look at outside experiences that bolster what you want to do in the future, get that degree as soon as possible, and finally do what you want to do with your life, whether it not be a master's degree, whether it be a professional degree, or whether or not it's going straight into the workforce because you have your degree and you can do whatever it is that you are looking to do. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, share this video, and I'll see you guys on the next one. This is Ben.